Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The Internet is a collection of connected networks around the globe that share a common address scheme. The Internet began in 1962 as a computer network for the U.S. military and over time has grown into a global communication tool. By design, the Internet is decentralized. Each computer on the Internet is independent of each other. The operators of these computers can choose which Internet services to use and which local services to make available to the Internet community as a whole. There are a variety of ways to access the Internet. Most gain access through a Commercial Internet Service Provider, or ISP as it's otherwise known. The World Wide Web is one part of the Internet and the one with which most people are familiar. The World Wide Web is a collection of connected computers that store documents that are known as web pages. A collection of web pages for one topic, person, or company is called a website. Web pages can contain images, animations, interactive forms, games, links, which are called hyperlinks that can take you to other websites or web pages, and programming scripts that can allow you to enter, store, and manipulate data and information from a remote location. When you want to open a new web page on the World Wide Web, you usually click some form of a hyperlink to open the new web page that is referred to by the hyperlink. Hyperlinks are most often text descriptions that are usually of a different font style and color than most of the normal informative text on a web page. Quite often, hyperlinks will appear as blue, underlined text. However, almost any text or image within a page could potentially be a hyperlink. When you click a hyperlink, you invoke the URL address stored within the hyperlink. URL stands for Uniform Resource Locator. This URL address is where the web page that you want to view is stored on the World Wide Web. So when you click a hyperlink, the associated URL address is interpreted by the web browser and used to take you to the web page designated by that URL address, which then displays itself in your web browser, like Internet Explorer. The process of jumping to interrelated websites is known as browsing the Internet, or more commonly, surfing the net. You use a web browser to view these different pages by translating the programming language used to write the web page, such as HTML, XHTML, or DHTML, into the displayed information that you see on your web browser's screen. HTML and its related languages are the interactive document languages used to write web pages. HTML documents, which stands for Hypertext Markup Language, support what is called HTTP, or Hypertext Transport Protocol, to make the linking and viewing of multiple web pages possible. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.